widespread. Right. We're talking about hundreds of miles of, of damage caused by multiple tornadoes spun off from a huge storm system. We have our Zach Fisher live in Norwalk. Uh, he's standing by. So obviously these, these storms were tracking southwest to northeast. And if you're going to go from, uh, from Winterset and you're going to head east, you're going to hit Norwalk. What happened there, Zach? Yeah, Dan, so we're about a good mile uh, east of Norwalk High School. This is the area that's concentrated, the concentrated amount of damage here from the uh, tornado. We're standing right now on the Anderson family property. You can see right behind me a bunch of debris. Now, this is from uh, a two-story barn that they have. You can see that white roof. It was a furnished apartment complex that was wiped out in seconds, the family saying. It didn't feel like anything. They knew it was going to be bad when they heard the windows breaking. Uh, I mean, you could see tools, all kinds of boxes, and obviously wood. Uh, you can't see all the way back there, but debris goes back into this tree line. Uh, they have a power line that's down on their property as well. They're currently in their home without power, uh, waiting for the power to get back on, staying here throughout the night. And then a neighborhood. Uh, Literally 500 feet down the road is also where a lot of this damage uh, happened uh, with a lot of homes, specifically the roofs being ripped off, half ripped off, whatever that may be. We, we chatted with the family, too, uh, that had some significant damage to their home. They have a four-year-old, an eight-month-year-old, and here's their assessment right after the storm. Honestly, from being down there, it didn't seem like it was going to be bad. It no. felt like, oh, it's our everything's fine. But when I came out, well, actually, the front door, you can just see mud, dirt, and uh, insulation from other houses just blown up against the door. And once I saw that, and there was debris inside the house, which I don't even know how that happened, uh, and we came out here, that's when it kind of sunk in. Like, all right, this is, we got hit with something. Our it, first brand new house, and now this is the state that it's in and it's like god can we get a break <laughs> our poor neighbors moved in three days ago uh so yeah. and we moved in about a month and a half ago so so lucky enough they have some family friends in town where the kids and them are going to be staying away from their home i talked to the norwalk police department about two hours ago and they said no confirmed injuries. I've reached out to the police department. I'm supposed to be getting some more information, but as of right now in the city of Norwalk, there is nothing confirmed injury-wise uh, for the good news there, Dana Janae. Really quickly, Zach, when he was talking about what, from what we heard down there, was he talking about when they were, were they taking cover in their basement and listening as this storm rolled in? in the, yeah, so they were taking cover down in the furnace room. He was talking about his grill. They, they were looking on their first level of their home, and he sees his grill slide across the deck, and that's when he grabbed his wife, grabbed his kids, and ran downstairs. It lasted for a period of two to five minutes. It felt like they were in an airplane, they said. You could hear, feel the pressure in your ears, and then they slowly worked up to go see the damage. Zach, good, yeah. I, know, I know you've been standing out there for a while now, but for us seeing what's behind you for the first time, it, it is truly jaw-dropping. Thank you for that live report, and we're going to check back in with you a little bit uh, later as well.